What is good guys, back in my World Cup this time, kick guys are from Team France vs Brofus from US Northeast. This is round 2, so it's playoffs. Uh, on Brofus side we have a Mega Manichim squad with most likely AV Tangros, uh, Stealth Rock Heatran, then uh, Electric Seed Halucha obviously, then the Coco could be a Z-Move or it could be Sugarberry, then the Greninja I assume is just Battle Bond. There's a slight chance it's Choice Scarf Protein, but I assume Balbond makes a bit more sense. He has a fake out on Medicham, Coco is, red, is a fast mon, and he also has uh, Unburdened Halucha. So we see turn 1, Landers Intimidate goes before Coco's Electric Surge. So we know the Landers is Choice Scarf. Uh, so Kikasa is just going to U-turn out here most likely. If Brofus is Sugarberry, he can stay in and just click HP Ice. But yeah, obviously um, kick Ather knows that Sugarberry is common in Coco, so u should always be the play. And he's most likely going to go to Tapu Bulu. I know French people that like their bulky SD Tapu Bulu. Uh, with like SD Synthesis, Horn Leech, Superpowers, stuff like that. Sometimes it's Protect instead of Synthesis. I've seen Cory use that on Ladder. So now um, we could see either U-turn or Volt Switch here from Brofist into Tangros or Heatran. Um, Tangros could potentially threaten out the Bulu with Sludge Bomb. Heatran could um, threaten it out with a... Magma Storm or just get up the rocks. And uh, looking at Kickass's team, Mega Alakazam looks like a big threat to Brofist's team, especially after that Mega Evolves. Uh, it can switch into Heatran and Trace Flash Fire. And Brofist doesn't have good switch ins for Alakazam. Like, I guess Tangros can kind of check it, but it's not it's not a great answer. So U turns out, um, yeah, U turn is usually used these days on Coco because Gastron um, is, is quite common. So that way you can U turn on Gastron and you don't get your Volt Switch blocked. So either Tang or Heatron comes out. Heatron comes out as Kickasa just horn leeches. So Kickasa doesn't want to stay in here. Um, this is uh, quite important to keep the Bulu around because it helps with the Coco and it can change up the terrain so the Halucha doesn't get unburdened. And it can also check the Greninja. So Alakazam or um, either Alakazam or Greninja was going to come out. But yeah, Alakazam is, makes a lot of sense there. You see the Heatron doesn't have leftovers. It gets grassy terrain back to get back to full. But it didn't have leftovers so it's most likely Z-move Heatron on Brofist's side. Um, so kick I could just hard focus blast here. Um, Brofist. If he has Toxic, he could go for that, or he could go hard into Tangrowth. He goes for Protect, okay. And kick has a common Mega Alakazam, which is not common, but this works out really well for kick Not sure why he protected there. But now um, kick could Mega Evolve and go for Focus Blast. Uh, I assume this is a Calm Mind, Focus Blast, Psychic and Recover Alakazam. You usually run Recover on Alakazam because it helps you check Heatran better. And it also can wall Mega Latios um, because they usually only run Ice Beam, um, Recover, Psychic and Earthquake. And if you obviously trace Levitate, Latios can't hit you with Earthquake. So Mega Alakazam can actually wall Alice, which is quite funny. So do we see Focus Blast here most likely? Uh, Tangros comes out from Brofus side and dodges. Um, that sucks a lot. Focus Blast into Psychic would have uh, probably KO'd the Tangros. It might have been a roll. If he's Max but have AV, uh, there's a chance he can live a Focus Blast into Psychic, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kickasa just trades the Regenerator as Kickasa disconnects. Um, I hope he's gonna be back soon, otherwise, I'm gonna pause the recording. But yeah, he can just go for Psychic here. I assume it's gonna do like 55, 50, 50% maybe. Mm, can I just the head calc? And yeah, Brofist is probably just going to click knockoff here. Giga Drain obviously doesn't do anything because um, the Alakazam has a Spadef boost. But yeah, Tracing Regen is cool here, so Kikasa can afford to take a hit and then switch out and get Regen later in the game. Okay, he's back. He didn't deceive for too long. So Psychic is pretty risk-free here. Um, I guess Brofist could go hard Greninja if he's Choice Scarf, but I doubt it. <laughs> so Psychic comes out as 54 Spadef drop. Um, maybe makes up a bit. Um, for the Focus Blast Mist. I think the Focus Blast Mist still sucked more. Now, um... Kickass is either gonna recover here or Psychic again. So Brovis has a few options here. I don't think he wants to sack the Tangos yet. Um, he might, he might wanna go Heatran and, um... No, Heatran... I mean, his Heatran has Z-move, but I don't know if it can kill the Alakazam because the Alakazam just calm minded up. Uh, we know he joined a Z-move because it didn't have leftovers, so it's pretty obvious. Because um, yeah, I don't know what other item it would be. I doubt it's gonna be like Choplo or anything. That's not that's not really a thing. And he doesn't really have another Z-move user because the Greninja is either um, the Greninja is either Specs or Scarf, probably Specs like I said. And the Coco is probably Sugarberry to help 
versus like Scavland or help versus Pinsir. Like it was Scavland was just amazing to have Sugarberry, that way you don't have to predict on Coco. But yeah, he does go Heatran, um and I think we're gonna see the Z move here from Brofist. And Kiget is either gonna go for recover or focus blast. I think it's gonna go for recover. And I, I don't think I don't think Brofist can kill this Alakazam. So how does he beat this? Cause I'm gonna calculate real quick how much many champs fake out. Yeah, he does go for a recover and we see a Zemo from Brofist and Thunder Overdrive. I think this was like 90% percent 79 only. So Alakazam actually has um, yeah, it has decent speed death. And it also um, has a comment up, so it makes some sense that he eat up. Now we can go for recovery here. Brofist anticipates that, goes hard, go ninja. Um, so the thing is here, Brofist is either banking on a Focus Blast miss, and he's Ash Greninja, or he's Choice Scarf. Uh, if he's Choice Scarf, he can just click U-turn here. But if he's Ash Gren, um he has to go for Focus Blast miss. Um, I don't think Kickasa wants to stay in, though, on a potential Choice Scarf Greninja. I assume we're going to see Kickasa switch out into either the Clefable or the Heatran because um, choice if it's Choice Scarf, U-turn is going to come out. Uh, so, I don't know. Broth is disconnected. But yeah, I'm going to run a Kalk on the side real quick. I got my second laptop here to run a Kalk. So Mega Mage and Fag out does 41 to 48 to Alakazam. Just calking that for later, in case that ever comes into play. Yeah, I don't think Kikazai wants to stay in here. This uh, Alakazam is pretty valuable. Also, want to calculate how much um, Alakazam Psychic does to Medicham. Let me see. Psychic from Megazam does 80 to 95 if he's timid. So, with a little bit of chip damage, that can go to Medicham. And yeah, Medicham is like quite a big threat to kick SS team if Clef takes some chip damage, it can't switch in at all. But yeah, Kikas is definitely not gonna stay in here and risk the Greninja being Choice Scarf. Um, the thing is, he don't want to go Clef either. Yeah, he probably is gonna go Heatran. He doesn't want to go to Clef either because he needs the Clef healthy to. He needs the Clef healthy to check the Halucha. Because uh, if Halucha gets up a Sword Stance, um, Clef needs to be at full to take a plus to Acrobatics. Uh, or at near full at least. I think plus to echo does like 85 or something. I'm just head calking kinda. Um, I know I have a calculator here, but I don't want to type everything in. But yeah, I assume he's not gonna stay in here, but there's a DC. Is that a DC? Yeah, Brof is DC. I might just pause it real quick. Be right back. Okay, we are back. Let's see if he's um, Choice Scarf. Probably not if he's Ash. Oh, he's Ash. He goes for Pump and he gets his Ash form. So that was well played by Brof. Uh, I definitely think he just bluffed the Choice Scarf there. Uh, you can also say he banked on the Focus Blast miss. He didn't really have any counters to the Alakazam, but Kikazan knows that his Alakazam can be can do a lot of work in the game, so he didn't want to stay in. So Kikaza goes to his Greninja. Uh, since the Bulu wasn't Z move, this Greninja could definitely be Z move for Kikaza. Uh, I don't know how healthy the Tangros is, but Brofist might just stay in and go for Pump again because he is in he is in Ash form, so this Pump is gonna hurt Kikaza. And he already showed that he's Choice Scarf Landris, so Kickasa is not going to be Scarf Greninja. So does he even have a move to Oko this? He goes for Z-move, all out pummeling Bob. So it's Z-low kick that's going to uh, obviously kill Brofist's Gren. And now um, Medicham can come out and click Fake Out. Or um, Coco, can, yeah, Coco can come out as well and click U-turn. Those are the two options that Brofist has. So yeah, Coco is just going to click U-turn here. And I assume the Greninja is just going to get sacked. Oh, he goes Bulu. Because... Greninja dies to rocks anyway. I know it's an extra sack, but if you go Bulu, you take rocks, he clicks U-turn, and um, he gets momentum anyway. He can go into his Medicham here, or Heatran. I think Medicham is the better play. And then Medicham can probably just click Zen Headbutt, because the Greninja dies to rocks, so um, he doesn't have a Zen Headbutt immunity, is what I'm trying to say. Landris takes a lot from Zen Headbutt as well. Uh, I think the Tangros is at um, 46 plus 33 is 79? But yeah, something like that. But Melchim should definitely come out here. Kickass is gonna get some um, Grassy Train plus Leftovers Recovery. And then he probably has to sack the Greninja anyway. So I don't think it made a difference. I don't think it made a big difference if he hard sacked the Greninja to U-turn or if he switched out. Uh, because yeah, this Bulu can get the health back from terrain and lefties that it loses um, to U-turn and rocks. Actually, it takes a little bit of chip, yeah. So I probably would have just hard sacked the Greninja, but it doesn't. it's not too big of a deal. Um, I think I just disconnected, so let me pause it. 
yeah basically uh, I disconnected we're gonna rewatch the turns that happened so the Melchim came out and the Bulu showed to be a protect version um, but yeah I think Cory used that on ladder I think I said that already in the video so he gets some extra health back and I think now he just has to sack the Greninja because I think um, Zen Headbutt would still kill the Bulu otherwise and now um, Scarf Landris comes out. Scarf Landris is most likely just gonna click U-turn here. Brofist uh, doesn't want to take any chip on the Medicham. Goes hard Coco knowing that U-turn uh, is most likely gonna come out because yeah he has like a Tangles and other stuff. There's no way he would click uh, Earthquake. So um, Zam can come out and click Psychic here. Um, so Brofist has to sack either the Tangles or the Heatran here. Uh, he can also sack the Coco and then go into Halucha afterwards to scare out this Alakazam. That's another option. But he kind of just has to pick a fodder here. So let's go Heatran. Psychic comes out. And yeah, another Psychic. If this is a roll, um, kick as I might want to click Focus Blast here. But I assume he's just going to click Psychic again because Heatran um, can't really touch this Alakazam. It already used the Z move. So yeah, Brofist just has to decide uh, what he wants to sack here. So he goes Tangros now. Um, since the Greninja is dead, um, maybe Brofist um, decided he wants to give up the Tangros. Because the Heatran still outspeeds the, um, the Tapu Bulu. Not that Heatran is going to do much though. But um, yeah, now he can... Yeah, I guess he knew that Tangrus could lift two hits. And now he can, if he wants, sack um, the Heatran. Because he got the knockoff damage off on the Alakazam. Well, I guess uh, Recover is a potential play here for kick up predicting the switch. S like, Brovis might want to stay in predicting the Recover. Um, because if he stays in and keeps the Alakazam low, uh, Medichim's fake out can revenge kill. Medichim's fake out does 41 to 48, right? So he does go for recover. Um, Brofist goes hard into Medichim, um, predicting that. Wild play from Brofist because, yeah, Psychic only does 80 to 95, and uh, Medichim's high jump kick does 99 to 117. So Brofist can click high jump kick here, um, knowing because Ice Punch doesn't do that much. Ice Punch does 76 to 90 to them. Um, high jump kick is definitely the play here, knowing that um, this Alakazam doesn't have Shadow Ball, so the Alakazam can never kill you, since all it already showed that it's Calm Mind. So he goes hard into Landers, um, predicting a high jump kick, I think. Brofus goes for high jump kick and misses. A uh, really annoying miss for him. Um, I, I guess that makes up for the Focus Blast miss earlier, kind of. So Landers is gonna click U-turn here. Brofus obviously doesn't want to stay in. This Medicham is um, still good with Fake Out, and it gets a kill kind of when it comes in on the Bulu. But yeah, Fekker is also good for the Alakazam, if the Alakazam can get in range. Uh, yeah, definitely U-turn is going to come out here. Brofus is either going to go um, Heatran or Coco again. Um, I think Heatran or Tangros actually. Because you don't want to go Coco because um, he could have potentially clicked off quick there. So he goes Heatran, there's the U-turn. And now uh, Alakazam probably comes out again, yep. And Alakazam most likely just going to click Psychic here. As the Heatran is definitely in Psychic range now and Brofus has no Psychic switch in either. As um, my second computer just made some weird noise that threw me off. <laughs> but yeah, Psychic gets a kill here. He has to decide what he wants to sack. So he goes Coco. Coco is going to die to Psychic. And this pretty much means he has to go Halucha here to use um, to get the Electric Seed activated. And now kick probably doesn't want to stay in here. Um, he might just want to go Hard Kill Fable. So if Brovus wants to predict the switch here, uh, he can potentially go for Swords Dance. Uh, isn't isn't Kickass does Kickass need this Alakazam to win? If Kickass stays in and dies to acrobatics, um, let's say he stays in and dies to acrobatics, then he can go afterwards into Clef and click Moonblast twice, and then his Clef gets low. Yeah, I think I think he goes hard Landris as Brovis predicts the switch and goes for SD. Yeah, I think that was a misplay. Um, maybe hmm, I'm not hundred percent sure. But yeah, Landers is most likely going to U-turn here, yeah. So now he's going to go Clefable. So the only thing I can think about why you would go Landers, if you if you switch, the reason why he went Lando over Clef is he wants that U-turn chip because Moonblast from Clefable has a higher chance to kill the Halucha with that U-turn chip. But I'm still not sure if that was the correct play. He might have just been able to win um, by staying in with Alakazam. Um, but yeah, you obviously have to click Moonblast here. Uh, Acrobatics, I think, is a roll to kill this. I'm gonna calc real quick. Um, Clefable, I assume it's Max Defense versus Halucha. Halucha is adamant, I assume. Yeah, th that's the ob most common. That's th there's no reason to run Jolly. So, um, plus three Acrobatics um, with no item does... At plus three, does 86 to 102. 
So this only has a 12.5 chance to Oko the Clef. And Moonblast um, depends on the Halucha set. If it's the 152 HP sp spread, um, Moonblast is 84 to 99. If the Halucha has no bulk, which we have seen lately, um, Halucha just run max speed so that they at least speed tie with opposing max speed adamant Haluchas. Then Moonblast does 94.9 to 111, which means um, this is pretty much a guaranteed kill because even though it says 95, um, if this has no HP investment, I think Moonblast is going to kill it, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So Brovis uh, has to just click acrobatics here and he has to go for the roll. It's a 12.5% chance to kill and he gets it. Oof. So now Brovis just wins. Because um, acrobatic kills everything on Kick-Ass side. And Alakazam is obviously slower because of the unburden. So if he stayed... Yeah, he, I don't know, did he misplay? He, he did, yeah. I don't know. The thing is, if he went hard kill Fable, if he went hard kill Fable, um, instead of going Landris, and the Halucha has no bulk investment, then Moonblast still has a 62.5 um, chance to Oko. So that might have been the better play if you switch that you go Clef instead of Landris. Uh, but if the Halucha has bulk investment, then Moonblast would um, not, most likely not kill without the U10 damage. But if he stays in with Alakazam, he obviously just won if he stayed in with Alakazam on the SD. But let's say he stays in with Alakazam on the acrobatics. I still think he would have been in a good position. Because afterwards, the Kill Fable, um, Moonblast, even if it doesn't kill and the Halucha can get up a SD, then he Moonblasts again. Then his Kill Fable is low, right? But the Halucha is dead. And his Scarf Landris plus um, Bulu can still potentially win the game then. Because, uh, yeah, the Medicham was weakened. Yeah, the Landers might have been able to just win the game late game with U-turn spam. Uh, yeah, I think he either should have gone hard clef, depending, obviously depends on the Halucha spread. Or he should have gone... Um, yeah, I think it's either go hard clef or stay in with Alakazam. I think Landers was a misplay. But yeah, it depends a bit on the, on the Halucha spread. Like I said, the only reason why you would want to make that play is to... Um, get U10 chip damage to make it so Moonblast can kill better, but we obviously don't know um, Brofus Halucha spread. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Brofus picks up the win. Um, definitely think, yeah, staying with Alakazam might have been the better play, or going hard into Clef. And also the, um, yeah, the Focus Blast earlier sucked on the on the Tangros, but he also missed, Brofus also missed the high jump kick. So I think the Hex was kind of even and the um, there was a slight misplay at the end on Kickass' side that cost him the game. But yeah, explain. Let me know in the comments. Um, maybe I messed this up a little bit. I'm on, I'm on three or four hours sleep. So if I messed anything up, it's my bad. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know there, have, there hasn't been too much content. Been kind of been kind of busy. Also not really not, not feeling recording too much. Um, but yeah, don't worry. I'm going to be back. Uh, whenever. It's also like the weather is a problem at the moment. Like in my room, it's like it's like impossible to record. <laughs> the sun shines in my room immediately. If that's correct English, even. But yeah, nice and I'm the goat at fucking up my outro. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Smash that like button if you enjoyed and peace out, friends.